What's up, blockheads? Headed to... You guys know where I'm headed. I'm always headed there. Headed to Orlando Harley, but headed up there to meet up with Miss Blockhead because we're going to go grab some lunch, so it is the lunch break. I'm going to talk about a certain subject during this episode, but just to go over it really quickly, there are a couple changes to the FXDR. So I flipped the mirrors using these uh, mirror extensions, which I used on my previous bike. So the mirrors are now down low and actually I can see much better with them. Um, I'm not looking at my arms anymore, which is really good. When they're up here, you know, tend to look at the arms a little bit, which kind of sucks. You gotta do the mirror lean. Also, I changed out the plug wires so that they're black now. So these wires right here are black instead of orange because I don't like orange. <laughs> and uh, I changed the air cleaner from that big old monster air cleaner to uh, something a little more small, uh, which is the Roland Sands Design um, Turbine Black Ops air cleaner. So those are the quick updates. Roll the intro. Let's get to the episode. thing I love about this new air cleaner obviously it looks good but you can also hear it like it sounds a lot different <laughs> it's before exhaust man that's crazy anyways so subject for this episode it's gonna be another uh, gamer gamer subject episode you guys know a while back I posted up a video basically saying gamers where are you at and I was asking if you guys are interested if I were to uh, start basically playing some games because I grew up playing games, uh, video games specifically, for those of you that are wondering what I mean. Um, if you'd be interested in uh, watching a stream, I mean, I'm probably gonna do it regardless. You know, it's like one of those things, the reason I motovlog is because I'm riding a motorcycle and I just decided to throw a camera on the helmet, so I'm gonna be riding regardless. So it's one of those kind of things, it was just kind of like a, uh, you know, why not? And so, you know, I've been wanting to get back into, into playing games every now and then, just because I miss it. Like I said in a previous video, I was over at uh, Anna and Aaron's and I was playing some Battlefield and hadn't played in like a year. And uh, it made me miss it, you know? Like I, I enjoy kind of unwinding and the competitiveness of it. And it's just, it's just fun to me. Been around video games since I was a little kid, man. Starting out with the uh, Nintendo NES. Anyways, so this is a follow-up to that video, basically, uh, a ton of you guys commented like there were so many comments for that video so i have to say thank you guys for your participation and uh, letting me know y'all's thoughts and opinions um some of you guys weren't interested in video games which is all good but i would say probably 90 to like 95 percent of people said that they would totally be down to watch a stream they'd be down to squat up so that's cool uh, which I kind of I kind of predicted that you guys would probably be down So that's cool to see that y'all are because I know the majority of the demographic For the channel is uh, around my age. So that's cool So my question to you guys is here's where I'm at. I've got a bit of a dilemma So dude, did she just leave? She did. Be right back. So that's my bad. I told Miss Block that I was headed that way through a text, and uh, she thought I meant headed to where we're meeting for lunch, which is Chipotle, but I meant headed to, <laughs> headed to Harley. Miscommunication, but whatever. So, got a little more time before I got to cut off. So yeah, here's my dilemma. Choosing, I, I know already that I want to do a console, right? Or I'm, I'm not a big PC gamer. I tried it out, I mean, I used to be, I did for a little bit. I played Counter-Strike on PC, I played a couple other games on PC, and that was like, man, that was a long time ago. I was back when like Steam was first coming out. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Okay, so since I'm a designer, a graphic designer and a developer, I like to use um, Apple products, right? Because they're just awesome for design. It, they, it just works, you know, it's it's like a great great machine. I've got a MacBook Pro I will always use a MacBook Pro. I used to have a PC. I used to have a laptop I custom built a PC to be just like a monster gaming rig a while back Actually, it was more of like meant to be a monster uh, music production rig after I switched over to uh, to Mac There's just no turning back <laughs> That rhymed. 
So doing uh, PC gaming is uh, is out of the question. Uh, it's just not something that I even wanna that I even wanna do. And I get it. I know, you know, PC master race, blah blah blah. And I know that, especially compared to consoles, like you can build a PC for. I mean, probably about the same pr No? Maybe not. I know I could build a pretty monster PC for gaming, but I don't have the desk space. I'm just not looking to do it. So I'd rather just have a console, you know? Sit on the couch, play some games. Also, the reason I want to do console is because most of my friends are on console. And so... <laughs> you dancing? Nissan Rogue? Yeah, so most of my friends are on console. And I see wanting to play games like this as like more of a social thing. Which uh, is what brings me to my other part of the dilemma, which is, do I go with an Xbox or do I go with a uh, PlayStation? Now, traditionally, my family has always been Xbox, like always. So that means my brothers are on Xbox and they're still pretty active on there. My cousins are on Xbox, still pretty active on there. You know, I have an Xbox and we use it, but I don't use it to game. I just use it for like Netflix and Hulu and, you know, basically movie streaming and playing media and stuff like that. But I don't have a subscription to Xbox Gold, you know, so I haven't had one in like a year. However, I have other friends that also own PlayStation and they're advocating PlayStation. One of those friends being DJ Anna and her husband Aaron, right? And they game pretty regularly. And, you know, they're some of our closer friends. And they, uh, they're into the same games like that I am. The first person shooters, you know, so like Battlefield, Call of Duty, stuff like that. Like I said, the whole reason, you know, the whole fire reignited was because of going over there, hanging out, playing some video games. So that is my dilemma. Do I get an Xbox and game or do I get a PlayStation and game? What's, what's the thing to do here? What do you guys think? So yeah, on the one hand, I've got my family, you know, my brothers, the game on Xbox. But then on the other hand, I've got my close friends that are more along into the games that I am. So my brothers, man, they've all sorts of freaking games, man. They're all over the place. They'll play games that like I'm not interested in at all. So I know Anna and Aaron will play games that I am very interested in. So what's the what's the uh, what's the answer here? Now holidays are coming up. I'm not sure if you guys will see this before or after, say like Christmas. I know I could probably ask Santa for a PlayStation if I wanted, but since I do already have an Xbox. I don't want to have to buy the game for both consoles because that's that's meh you know it's like double the money so it's like do i, do I stick with the xbox one or just go ahead and pull the trigger on the playstation 4. i mean i'm really unfamiliar with playstation how about how about this because i know there's going to be people that are like playstation sucks go xbox or xbox sucks go playstation or xbox and playstation suck go pc <laughs> it's just people are so divided and I get it everybody has a preference and that's kind of what it boils down to with me is I have my preference and my preference is not PC my preference is console and so it's just kind of like which do I go with I think just for the fact that Anna and Aaron are you know our close friends and they play the games that you know I like you know we have this similar similar taste We'd probably be able to like work around the schedule of you know playing online with them quite a bit and they've got uh people that they play with as well that they you know squat up they've got uh people that they squat up with already so i don't know you guys drop your thoughts below give me like a pros and a cons list i think that's the best way of going about it is drop a pros and cons list and try to be impartial so if you have PlayStation, tell me all the reasons you went with a PlayStation instead of an Xbox. And then if you have an Xbox, tell me all the reasons you went with an Xbox instead of a PlayStation. See what I'm saying? Pros and cons. And uh, try to do without the bashing and all that stuff. So I don't need none of that negativity. All right, gonna grab some food real quick. Then uh, finish off this episode. Be right back. All right. Done at Chipotle, it was freaking delicious, and headed back to Harley.
to return some parts for the FXDR. What the f? What dripped on it? So like tree savage? What the f? Dude, somebody clearly splattered shit all over the side of my bike. Mother, I'm assuming it was that Coke can that got ran over. It sucks. At least it was diet. Was it diet? Yeah, it's diet. <laughs> That's super lame. Mother. F God. And everywhere. Anyways, so yeah, the uh, the episode. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you guys let me know, drop your thoughts below. I think the biggest deciding factor for me is probably like the community aspect of it, you know, between Xbox and PlayStation because uh, of our friends, you know, that play online. So it's basically like, would my family play online enough with the games that I want to play? I guess I'd have to call and ask him, talk to my bros. But you guys let me know what y'all think post up and uh like i said if if you guys prefer one over the other xbox versus playstation let me know like i said if you have an xbox why you chose xbox or why you would choose the xbox over the playstation or if you have a playstation why you chose a playstation over an xbox pros and cons kind of list out right but that's it that's the idea um definitely going to be pursuing the gaming thing based on uh like i said i was going to anyways but based on all y'all's comments you know everybody being very uh very up for it also just to address there was a couple of you guys that were like more moto vlogs dude i'm putting out like three to five a week that's a lot of freaking moto vlogs like you can't you can only ride motorcycles so much you know i mean there's only going to be so much moto vlog content that's out and i put out a ton of moto vlog content so it's like photogrammer said like can a brother do something else in his spare time <laughs> you know photogrammer does he's a gamer as well so hell maybe we gotta follow up with him and see what platform he's on and no i'm not gonna make it on a separate channel just because i don't want to uh have to maintain and manage another channel but it will be added to a certain playlist so if you guys see that there's like a video game stream or something like that posted just don't watch it you know and i say that now but i know there's gonna be so many of you guys that you know whenever it does start you'll click on it and you'll just downvote it <laughs> just because that's what people do man it's like there's so many haters on youtube freaking with the downvotes posted up a thank you video for florida moto meet and it got 10 dislikes it's a f thank you video it's me saying thank you guys 10 dislikes i said a while back i could probably post a video of like rescuing a freaking puppy and people would still find some reason to dislike it just because that's how people are Ugh. anyways that's getting off on a whole nother subject but if i were to start this venture or whenever i start this venture it will not be on a separate channel it will be on this channel like i said it's just gonna be something like i'm gonna be doing it anyways so if you guys are along for the ride then check it out watch it it will be separated into a different playlist, so if you guys don't want to be along for the ride, you don't have to watch it. Man, I cannot believe freaking soda exploded all over my, my damn bike. That sucks. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button if you're not subscribed already. Hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon as well so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Till next time you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant. Catch y'all on the next one. Deuces.